hey guys welcome to my channel and don't worry this is not my setup video in this video i'm just going to show you a program teammate which is one of my very favorite program and i use it for uh, many times like for multiple purposes and let me show you what teammate is then it's an absolutely amazing program so here i have my laptop and here i have my desktop and um, you know all the stuff even though this is not a you know setup video but and yeah i use uh, what is this yeah i use paper as my mouse pad because i have this habit while playing counter strike and every time i use actual mouse pad i ruin my game so all right enough of setup now again to teammates so let me open my terminal so here's my terminal of my desktop and i'm going to install teammate and teammate is present in the official repository of arch and i'm going to do the similar process in the laptop so i'm going to open my terminal and sudo back man minus s teammate and just install it and after this what i'm going to do is just write teammate okay so if you are on any ubuntu system it's also in a pretty kit so i mean it's pretty simple to install teammate it's an official repository of almost every Linux distribution so type teammate press enter it's going to give you a bunch of links so first one is web session read only then sss session read only and it will all make sense it's pretty simple all you have to do is just share this link with someone whom you want to give the access of your computer so if you are sharing your terminal with someone who is a linux user you might want to share ssh link and if someone is like windows user for some reason you might want to share this web link and i think this is pretty cool i mean someone uh, can use your computer even if he don't have linux or he don't have his own system he is in cafeteria using windows so he can just use this um, you know web gui version which is amazing okay so I'm just going to SSH into this computer from my desktop. All right, so as you can see, I am ready with my SSH link and you can see this is screen too. So these are all the, you know, stuff. And when I press enter, uh, I'm just going to log in into the same machine. And when I press Q in this computer, it's just going to quit. And as you can see, both the screens are pretty similar. You are getting uh, something here in the corner and I will tell you what this is later but uh, right now I just want to type SL and press enter so it's little bit laggy not a lot and you can see we got the train in both the computer now all right so I don't know about you guys but I really love this I mean I can do whatever I want and you know these two computers are right here but to be honest this program really really changed my life because there were a lot of pain in the ass friends who just keep asking for help like i got this problem and they are completely noobs i remember once i was guiding one of my friend from the call and i was talking about writing commands and he had his python on and as you can see and then he was typing commands like this so that was pretty stupid and lame and he was doing it so there are a lot of times it's hard to instruct like what commands you have to type and uh, these people are very really new so it's a really good thing i mean all i can tell him is just to install teammate type teammate and share the link with me and uh, i think that's what anyone can do as you can see uh, i can also write from here also right now the machine which is actually running is this one okay my laptop is running i mean this terminal is actually this computer all right so if i close the python and type ls here so this is actually this computer all right the files are inside this computer so if i do any cpu heavy process uh, this computer have no effect on it so the reason why i'm getting these lines over here is because every time if i you know go to pics so let me just do this it's hard to type with one hand but uh, it's not that hard so let me just try to open any image so i don't know what this test.jpg is and as you can see it's open here so these are some kind of notes actually i was trying to improve the quality of these notes by image magic so i can make uh, another tutorial on this and now you can see that since i have one another window open here so the size of the window will remain same so that's why i'm getting these dots here so size is uh, same 
so if you are getting these lines it means uh, the guy who who have the computer uh, must have opened something or the uh, terminal is not full screen so here i have my you know laptop screen and here i have my terminal and one thing i noticed that your font should be similar to the font uh, in the other laptop okay so if you change the font you might get all these lines okay so this is another factor and if i do ls so you can see it's instant and i just love this because this program is written in c and what i usually do is i do peer programming with my friends and this is how i found this program and i do a lot of coding like solving competitive programming problems and these kind of stuff and it's pretty much working perfectly you can teach with this and do some other things too obviously but now let's talk about some of the technical stuff teammate is actually like a fork of i don't know if it's a fork but teammate also works like tmux it's pretty simple like you can also open another terminal so by default the key is uh, control b and then c and you, you can open another tab okay and to read how to use or how how to see you can type uh, man teammate and then you know scroll and uh, you can literally learn about anything like you can see here it's written that by default it used tmux configuration but you can also have this teammate configuration so this is uh, really cool and you can even use teammate to you know attach so it contain all the session stuff and i mean it's absolutely amazing program it's pushing the boundaries of tmux you can see the key bindings here if you want you should change the prefix key and you should watch my tmux video if you want like it contain the basic guide of how to use tmux so you can do a lot of more stuff with it even though i am not sure you really want to do it you can uh you know just do the basic and it's completely fine i mean like if you only want to use your friend's computer to see what he have or you can use read only session to teach someone and let's just now see the web version so here i have the link of web version and look at this it's looking so pretty it's my laptop and i can you know use it from anywhere from my browser and uh, this is the first time i like something in the browser so much and i just love this i mean i can do so much with it um and i don't know if you guys like this or not but for me it's like it's it's a lot okay so you can see right now i'm in my you know laptop so there are a few things which you should keep uh, in your mind that uh, never share your link with someone online or someone you don't trust because um, he can access your files he can you know do some bad stuff he can even delete and do you guys know i always wanted to ssh into my friend's computer and i wanted to but if you try to do it directly your isp is going to block and this is really really frustrating so uh, that's something i don't like and but with teammate you can do it okay so this is why i just love this thing so that's it hope you guys like teammate and i will see you in the next video yo yo i didn't always have skills but you chilled out with the time that you killed i was online and on my damn grind begging the question what you do with your time figured it out my aunt's basement video games and no damn patience tech skills and determination crossed with rage and frustration and i got smarter and i grew quicker and i felt sharper as i blew bigger clutching that iphone kicking in the limo with a screen off mirror mirror who's sicker winner winner in the green room chicken dinner is an anachronism but i'm all over twitter the picture a chipper to embitter the bitters while i fritter with the vigor to deliver the